What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today we're gonna check out our buddy Zer cause it's Friday and it's week number 28 so let's see what he has, he's over here by the speaker side and let's see what he has in his inventory so here's what he got for the weekend for the exotics for the titan we have the MK44 stand sides, boots Carry more ammo for heavy weapons and increase the duration shoulder charge remains active. Pretty good for uh, Crucible or PvP, but your call if you want to buy this. There's other good Titan exotics as well. For the Hunter, we have the Mask of the Third Man. Increase melee attack speed, replenish health when you pick up an orb, and arc blade attacks use less super energy. Very good helmet for the Hunter. I love using this for Blade Dancer and in the Crota's N hard mode raid so uh, really good I recommend it 100% you should go pick it up for the warlock we have the apotheosis veil melee hit replenish grenade energy replenish health when you pick up an orb and activating your super regenerates your health as well another really good helmet I use it all the time for my warlock especially in the crota's end raid uh, this one's really good I think it's better than light beyond nemesis because you can also replenish your health by just using your super so that's really good um, and that's why I like it a lot I recommend it 100% as well and then for the gun we have the hard light exotic auto rifle rounds fired from this weapon over penetrate targets and ricochet on hard surfaces and the bottom half of each magazine causes additional damage very cool I don't have this gun and I just picked it up and so now my exotic collection is almost complete. I believe the only exotic I need in the game is uh, the Truth Rocket Launcher. I don't have this for some reason. I guess I didn't buy it when uh, Zer sold it in the past. So once I get that, I'll have a complete exotic collection in this game. And I'll go ahead and show you guys all my exotics. And then he also has the helmet engram this week. For the upgrades, we have a Master Third Man and Lucky Raspberry. Uh, I like Mask of Third Man better, but he's also selling it, so you can just purchase it for coins instead. And then we have Insurmountable Skull Fort and Crescent of Lupi. Both are pretty good. This one's good for uh, replenishing health when you pick up an orb, but uh, both are not bad um, exotics. And then for the Warlock, we have Skull of Dire Ahamkara and Heart of Praxic Fire. And Praxic Fire is the better one out of these two. For the guns, we have Hard Light, Red Death, Invictive, Patience and Time, Galhorn, and uh, The Truth. And uh, obviously, this is the main priority, but I assume the majority of people that have a Galhorn does not have the uh, pre-DLC one where it only goes up to 300 damage. Majority of people have upgraded it or got a new one after the DLC came out, so... Pretty much you, not many people need to upgrade it because majority of people are going to have the upgraded one already. And then we have other stuff. Red Death's good, but he sold it last week, so you probably don't need to upgrade that. Patient in Time and Truth are not bad, as well as Invictive. And he's selling this, so you probably don't want to upgrade it. And then he also has Heavy Ammo Synthesis this week, so go ahead and stock up on that if you need some. That's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos, and I will catch you guys next time. I may. Peace.